state. This one-mile contest for three-year-old trotting fillies has a lot more at stake than just $350,000. There's Moneymaker putting her undefeated season on the line. She's 18 for 18 with more than a half a million dollars in earnings this year. Her mother, Nan's Catch, won the Breeders' Crown back in 1987. Now, Act of Grace is looking to give Hall of Famer Stanley Dancer his first Breeders' Crown title. But don't count out Personal Banner. She's at the top of her game. Could she be peaking at the right time? Let's find out. Here's a quick look at the complete field. Ambro Obe is scoring from post one with number four, Personal Banner, and number five, Act of Grace. The undefeated Philly Moneymaker is scoring from post seven. For the call once again, let's go to track announcer, Jim Moran. They're off and uh, trotting in the Cadillac Breeders' Crown three-year-old Philly trot. Up on the outside, going for the lead, Real Diamond. Down along the inside, mostly Super is second. Along the inside, Personal Banner gets away third. Between horses, Act of Grace is fourth. On the outside, Moneymaker moves up fifth. Down along the inside, racing in sixth is Armbro Obey. The opening quarter, 26 and four fifths. Past the stands, Real Diamond it shines in the front end, leads it by a length and a quarter. Personal Banner is second, going up on the outside, Act of Grace. Along the inside, in third, mostly Super. Moneymaker on the go, following Act of Grace. They pass the 3 8 marker and head for the half. Along the inside, Real Diamond. Up on the outside, pressuring now is Act of Grace. Along the inside, Personal Banner tucked in third. Moneymaker has moved to be fourth. Along the inside, mostly super fifth. Then it's spinning reel in six. Armbro Obe locked in on the outside, moving up Stacy Spice. Also on the go, set you free. And along the inside, eject. Halftime was 56 and four fifths. They approach the far turn in three quarters. Real Diamond is still cutting out the mile, leads it by three parts of a length. On the outside, active greats. Now Moneymaker begins to move three wide. Along the inside, drawing tighter is Personal Banner. Active Grace goes off stride. They hit three quarters in 125-3. Into the top of the stretch, Real Diamond along the inside. Moneymaker three wide in between horses. Coming on now is Personal Banner. They come off the turn and head for home. Personal Banner between horses. Moneymaker on the outside won't be denied. She's coming on. In between horses, mostly super. Personal Banner now. Moneymaker. Personal Banner and Moneymaker noses apart in 154-1 in the Cadillac Breeders' Crown 3-year-old Philly Trot. Here's a look at the Philly prices. Number four, Personal Banner, returned 860, 340, 330. Number seven, Moneymaker was second. And number six, mostly super third. The exact of four and seven, 2520. And look at this. Personal Banner established an all-age track record of 154 and one. And on this side of me is the winning driver, Peter Wren. Peter, congratulations. Now, Personal Banner, you've driven her the last three starts, all winning efforts. Did she come into the race at the top of her game? Yeah, you know, the last couple starts there at Lexington, especially the last season of Viterity, she was real strong. I expected to do, I come in expecting to do good. I didn't, you know, didn't know if I could win, but I had high hopes coming in. Now, it was very tough competition. Moneymaker undefeated, of course. Act of Grace has been good all year. How did the race set up for you? Well, it couldn't have worked out any better. You know, I was able to get a nice two-hole trip up close without using her. Uh, I got out the right time. John's horse there made a break in the last turn. And at, if I don't get out at that point, I may not have beat Moneymaker. I probably would have had to back out behind Moneymaker and maybe been second. I just, you know, it all, a lot of luck worked our way. It was a narrow margin of victory, but was she strong to the finish line? Well, I thought I had him. You know, I mean, you don't know. She's a tough mare to beat, and she deserves a lot of credit for all them wins in a row. But, you know, you go behind the gate, she's just, you know, just one of them nights. You know, I got lucky and raced good. Here's a look at the complete order of finish. Personal banner, your race winner, Moneymaker, was second, mostly super third, and act of grace making an untimely break, finished 11th. Mr. Brian Barr, the chairman of Crest Cadillac, will be making the Breeders' Crown presentation to the trainer, Bill Gallagher, on behalf of Cadillac. Mr. Barr? Thank you very much. And, Bill, congratulations on behalf of Cadillac Motor Division, Cadillac Dealers of America. I'd like you to accept this beautiful Breeders' Crown trophy. Thank you very much. Great win tonight. Thank you. Well, Good job. Great. Thank you. Thank you. It was a thrilling evening for the first Breeders' Crown events ever held at Vernon Downs.